What's going on everybody? Welcome to 3D Printing Sunday, STL Sunday, whatever you wanna call this show. In this show, what we do is we pick a project and I go through the steps that I take to 3D model it. The uh, project for tonight is going to be a gas pump of some sort. I'm not sure if we're gonna go kind of vintage style or like 80s, 90s style. I haven't 100% decided. We're gonna kind of leave that up a little bit to the chat. I had used a, you know, an image that I found online as a inspiration image, but it was kind of the vintage style. So that is the plan. I am going to pull up Google where I have already Googled, uh, you know, gas pumps and it's not my pump. And we're going to kind of let you guys have a bit of a hand in choosing that. So again, <laughs> no litter robot. Yeah, no litter robot. This. We're not actually going to do that. So, um, you know, the, the kind of the different styles are, they've got like kind of this vintage style here. Now we're not going to do the ones that need the, or that have the glass style because obviously these are made for 3d printing and I don't expect anybody to, you know, it's not as common for people to have transparent filaments and things like that. And even if you did, they're not going to look, you know, super, super realistic. So I don't know. I'm, I don't think we're going to do a full modern one because those aren't all that interesting. They're a little interesting. It wouldn't be terrible, but you know, I kind of liked, I kind of like that style or, you know, it's, it is very simple though. So maybe if we do this, we can then also do some sort of, uh, you know, you viewer suggested viewer picked item towards the end. It sounds like my audio is a little hot and bounce, turn that down just a little bit. So, um, that's, I think this is kind of the style I'm thinking. What do you guys think about, about this one? We'll see what other ones pop up. You know, these are the, the other old style. This is the glass. This one in the center here was like the glass that I was talking about. So that's the, uh, that's the one that I'm like, eh, I'm not hundred percent sold on that. The one on the far right there, which shows 1940s to 1950s time frame. This Texaco one here, that's, that's pretty rad. I like, I like that one. Um, and of course it'd kind of be, ah, oh, here's a bunch. Yeah. We can just go to eBay and see what they're selling. Right. Um, but those look good. The only thing is, is that, you know, you're gonna have a globe on top. We'd have to, we'd have to figure out what, what to do with that. But I, I kind of like this one. Let's save this image. 3D printing, um, gas pump. So we're gonna save that image. I'm gonna kind of put that up here. I saw an, some people agreeing with me. I, I know I didn't give you guys a ton of time to, <laughs> uh, anyone else dropping for, nope, shouldn't be dropping frames. Everything is solid on my part. The only thing I'm gonna do, I'm going to just change the inset pop that in there hit okay turn that on and we'll put that up as our example so there we go hopefully everyone's doing well thanks for checking in everybody who's who's showing up again this is uh i really enjoy this show it's kind of one of my i like 3d modeling and this show doing 3d modeling just for fun isn't something that i've normally done in the past it's usually been for a project or anything like that so it's uh it's actually been a lot of fun for me and, and even, you know, practice of 3d modeling is good for everyone. Um, so let's start drawing something again. I've opened fusion 360. We're going to start with a sketch. We're going to start on the, uh, on the bottom plane. Oh, now one thing that I didn't, I didn't check is I'm going to look and see if this thing has any details on size. Cause I don't know anything about the size of these gas pumps. So see full description of this. This is a replica 1940s to 1950s era. The globes, oh, this thing's got some, this is a, uh, a replica, like I said, but the globe on the top is 13 and a half inches in diameter. It's got that. Does it have any other, it doesn't have any other dimensions other than one. Well, this will be a good opportunity to, I'm going to, undo that sketch. We're going to delete that. And instead, what we're going to do is up here on the top, we're going to insert a canvas and we're going to insert from the computer, 3d print files, gas pump, select that and put that on the front face. 
So, and we're just going to hit OK. Then we're going to go to the front. Now, obviously, it's got this. Now, this top is what it gave us a dimension of. So under the canvases here on the left, you can hit the drop down and then it'll show the gas pump image. You can right click on that and do calibrate. And then you can go up top and you click on one side and then the other. Now they said 13 and a half inches. So we need 1.3 inches. Um, if we want to just, I just want to do some 1.3 times 25.4 to convert to millimeters is 33 millimeters. So, or as close as makes no difference. So we're going to say this is 33 and that will give us a one tenth scale reference image. So, um, that's a, an easy way to do things. Gives us a, a good idea. And now if we wanted to, we can, we inserted that on the front plane. So, uh, 13.5 is the correct measurement or 1.35. Yes, that would be, but you know, this is a scale gas pump for 3d printing for your scale garage. So leave me alone. Mike J already causing problems. So let's just start with some basics. Let's just draw a rectangle. Now there's perspective to this photo. You can tell that the bottom is tilted away from the camera and the, you know, the upper portion is almost straight on. So it's just the perspective of whoever was taking it. You have to take that into account when you're actually drawing. You can only, you can only uh, expect so much. So I'm just using it as a rough estimate. We're going to center some things up so I can add some dimensions to fully. So 40 millimeters makes it almost, uh, we're going to stay with 40 millimeters. I like that. I like that dimension. Total height, 105. Let's go one, what's 110 look like? Hundred and ten. Yeah, that'll be right. Hundred and ten. And then we're just going to dimension the actual location. Thirty-five. Uh that's that's fine. So now you can see these things have quite a bit, they have shape to them. Now I only have this one reference image. Um so far. So let me, let me find a couple of more photos so that I can give myself a, a decent idea. I'm using Google, of course. And I'm just trying to find, like you can see here, it's got these, it's got this center section up and then it's got these two side pieces that come off. And I'm just trying to figure out exactly what kind of shape I should be trying to replicate from on those. Okay, so it appears that they're a bit separate. I mean, they're Okay, we're gonna we're gonna wing it as they say. So we are saying that this is 40 millimeters wide. Oh, like oh, I needed to add some of that. We're gonna add a little bit of that shaping to this at the at the outset here. So we're gonna start with some uh we're getting a little bit of we're going to put some coincident mates onto each of those ends. We're going to make sure that the tangent or the that arc is tangent to the top. We're going to hit X to turn it away from a construction, doing a new line, then toggling construction again. And we're going to make sure that that's horizontal so that both ends are at the same point. This is all kind of just estimated for gives us a little bit of a curve at the top. Now 
I went with 40 and that's almost the full width. So let's actually, let's take this width down to 30, 36. Eh, okay, that'll work. Thirty six will do. Yeah, I guess we can kind of see here that those those uh, side portions do kind of dip in on the front. That gives us a bit of an idea. All right. So let's start with this. We're going to hit Q to create a press pull. Now we said that this was about forty millimeters total width. So let's let's figure that it's about the same depth wise, you know, maybe it wasn't quite as deep, maybe, maybe 30, eh, 30 looks better. 40 looked too wide, didn't it? Uh, so I like that. We're going to go, we're going to run with that. Now, obviously these have hard lines everywhere and this gas pump is got more clean radiuses and we're gonna we're gonna add that I'm not sure I'm not gonna do it yet though we're gonna wait one thing that I am gonna do is I'm gonna create a construction plane because I, I want a plane that's at the midpoint so two things I could do I could either create a construction plane now or I could have done a uh, symmetric extrusion at that first step and then my front plane would still be in the center and it doesn't really matter we're just gonna I know that I went 30 millimeters, so we're gonna do it at 15. That's fine. So I created a new sketch at that midpoint. Now we're going to hit P for project to grab that geometry that we had. And we're just gonna raise this up. I'm gonna turn that canvas back on. Now, now those uh, those side pieces don't go all the way to the top. We're going to leave them just shy. Say, say three millimeters. Not exactly the same, but it'll give us something to work with. And we're going to go five on each side. This is going to be a little bit wider than the the actual one, but okay. We're going to turn that canvas back off. Now let's, oh, that was one thing. Yeah, let's put that, uh, let's put that arc in now. I don't want to do it with a fillet because I want to, uh, I don't want it to be a full tangent at the end. So we're going to do tangent here. Something like that. Okay, finish. Now, Q to make a press pull. See that? We're going to do a symmetric extrusion and we're going to go, we did a 30 millimeter total width. Um, and distant uh, at the outset. So let's say we do, what's 20 going to look like? Whoop. We need to do total, not each way. Uh, uh, let's, what's, uh, 23 millimeters. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I like that. Now we could do a join or we could do a new body. I'm going to do it as a uh, new body for now. And I could do a mere actual features rather than bodies, but I like working with bodies more than features. So let's do, let's add some of these kind of the soft portions of the line. Oh, one other thing is, is that I believe that this also has this kind of curve on the front and let me double check some of these folk. Uh, no, it doesn't. It just has uh, it just has some filleted edges. Okay. That's fine. So we're going to, we're going to add fillets on the outsides first. Um, 
three millimeter. Yeah, that works. So you do that, then you can just do single fillets front and rear, also three. That'll help soften that up. These are going to end up, we're gonna do a three millimeter fillet on that, and then we're maybe twos on the side. Yep, something like that. And now I can mirror this body to the side. Hit OK. Now we've got it on both sides there. Of course, we need the actual base. You can see the uh, this one, actually, the, the image that we have has a pretty small base around it. I'm seeing some other ones that have kind of a more significant two-step base to it. So, and I kind of like that better. So let's do, let's do that. I'm gonna do it off of the, oh, did I not have those perfectly? I did, I don't know why they're just not. Oh, I haven't combined the, uh, we're gonna combine these solids or these bodies. There we go. We don't need them separate anymore. So now we're gonna work off the bottom, hit P to hit project, oh, actually I don't even need to project it. We're just going to do an offset on the base and do, we'll do three millimeters. Now, actually let's do a little bit more. Let's do four millimeters and then I'm gonna do one more offset and we're just gonna do it at a uh, 0.5, half a millimeter. We're gonna make this base a separate piece. That way in case you want kind of multicolor, um, then, then you have that ability. So we're gonna hit Q for extrude, and we're gonna go up, we're gonna go up four as well. New body. And while we're at it, I'm gonna do a secondary function of this, and we're gonna go negative two, Q, and we're gonna go down to. Now I'm gonna grab these hard corners and we're gonna put a little bit of a fillet in them. So that's going to allow us to make some more smooth, uh, fillets to make this all look much better here shortly. Too much, too smooth. 1.5, I like that. Now we'll do one here first and that one, let's do, what's, that's what two looks like. It might be a little heavy, but let's see what happens when we do a one, yeah, we're gonna reduce that two millimeter fillet. 1.5. And it lost those. So we're gonna redo those to one. There we go. That. Now I'm going to do base. We're going to select the whole bottom. We're going to do 1.5. Oh, it's supposed to be 1.5, not 1. This is going to be a new body so that it doesn't join the main portion of the pump and that base, but we're going to combine those two. So gives you something to put everything in. So let's add some color to this just so that we have something to look at. Duplicate, edit, edit this. And that we're gonna put on the bottom. Ooh, I don't like that, it's too dark. There we go. 
So, how we're going. Not looking, not looking terrible. Now let's, what can we do to this to allow you guys to put some detail in if you'd like? You can see on the image below me there, we've got the, uh, I don't know what that says. It says fire chief. Well, there's the actual like main sticker at the bottom part, but then there's that little inset window above it. I'm thinking maybe we can make that an area where you could, um, put some sort of decal in or paper or anything from the back. So let's actually, um, let's open up the back of this whole pump. Maybe we'll put a door on it. Um, it'll also make it easier to print, faster to print, so that you guys can, um, and then we'll, it'll give us some ability to add some things to the inside, make this more versatile. versatile. So let's just do, let's just make a big old cut in the back of this. Just open her up. Two millimeters off the sides. And, and again, like I said, it'll have less, it'll take less uh, actual filament then too, so. Ninety-five, why not? Now we could, you know, shell this whole thing and all that, but um, I'm not super concerned about that at this point because that's up to you guys. We're just trying to, I'm just trying to get this done. While shelling it would work, work well and all that. Once you guys learn more about do it, you can draw your own shelled version. So let's put some holes in the front to make this thing. We're gonna turn the canvas back on. So we got, we have our position, something like that. All right, turn it back off. Every time I hit escape, it, un it undoes what I, what I done did. So we're going to do that. Now I need to add some constraints. Uh, 22, 33, and we need to position it laterally. Let's do, I need to go a little more, something like that. Okay, 0.5, I do a cut there to the inside face. Of course we need to put the, uh, those, heavy fillets in to round everything out. Oops. We'll turn that back on for a second to get a feel for it. Three it is. Okay. Bubbly. That, now we need the that little lower window as well, which is just below this and nearly the same. So do that, do that. Okay. Do I could just turn it on. Oh, I guess pretty close. Look at that. And a little more on 
That'll do. That'll do, pig. That'll do. Slightly smaller on the uh, radii here, it appears. Now, what does three look like? Three is a matching radius, and those were about the same radius on those, but I think my radius is just a hair, hair bigger than what they used. I kind of am okay with that. I think it still looks okay. Agree, disagree. I don't know that it matters if you do, if you agree or disagree. I mean, <laughs> so. Now the lower portion or the, you know, the sticker that's on the detail or the decal decal on the gas pump below, I think is like an external sticker or decal. So I'm not going to really make a space for that in the 3d model. I think we're going to leave that up to, up to you. One thing that I do want to do is I want to add a little bit of detail around these. So we're going to do a negative one on both negative one and then I'm going to do a negative 1.5 uh, actually we're gonna go negative 0.75 and negative 1.25 And what I'm going to do is going to hit Q and we're going to do a negative 0.5 cut. So it's just going to add that little, that little detail line around it. You can see it's not, it's not much. It's just a, it's just a line. It's just going to make it, if you'd like to detail it by hand, that's going to be um, pretty easy to do but it's just going to give a, like a nice visual break if you, yeah, like I said, if you wanted to detail those edges up, then it'd be pretty easy. Um, 0.5. Just a, a visual, a visual break, just something. Um, now, we need to add, one thing I want to do is I want to add a little bit more of a cut on the inside to get those windows closer to the actual uh, faces. We're going to do a collinear, uh, no, we're not. I'm going to do as three millimeter from that and three millimeter from that Q. And we're going to bring that in millimeter and a half. So that gets things closer in that area, not the entire face, just in that area. So it's a little bit thinner, but it, uh, if you want to put some, like if you have some thin Lexan or, what would be good for this is if you've just got like regular blister packs from like something you buy from the store, like whatever it is, you know, how they'll come in clear packaging, just use that, cut it out and put it in there. It'd work really well for like the fit, the glass display that these things, um, you know, that a gas pump would have had. So we'll have that. Then that'll allow you to do that. We should, we're going to do the, uh, I'm going to do the actual dials and things like that or dials, whatever that is behind it. So we're going to do off of that face. Add a circle. Couple of random rectangles and we're going to turn that image back off. I'm going to, I got to get things lined up.
So I drew construction lines between everything, and then we're going to use the horizontal vertical constraint. get everything in the proper place. Uh, I'm going to make things a little bit larger just so it gives you guys some room to to work with in your scale detailing if you so choose. Got that. And lastly, we need to put a dimension on this thing. Again, Increasing the sizes ever so slightly. Get that. Four millimeters there, nine there. Okay. Now I need, we're going to do an offset. I'm going to project that surface. And then we're going to offset it in by negative 0.5. So we're going to turn off construction. Okay. Oh, down the bottom. Oh, that was just going to be kind of an area for like the, the branding or whatever it was called. So I'm just selecting that part. Pull that forward. It's going to be a new body. That's 1.5 millimeters. So that's not leaving any space for the Lexan or anything like that. But basically, this could be a a a sandwich fit at that point, which would be just fine. Sandwich. So new body. That's okay. 1.5 millimeters is, I mean, we can, I guess, let's go back and edit. 1.5 millimeters is a little thin. So we're going to do a two sided. We did 1.5 one way and we're going to do negative. Well, it was, we did negative 1.5. Um, one, let's do a, a negative one. So that gives us 2.5 millimeters of total thickness on this this specific part. Now, oh, I'm sorry. I don't know if you guys can hear my text messages going off. I apologize. So, gives you that. Now, do you guys, what do you guys want behind this? Do you want it just left open and you have to? you have to put a cover back there or what do you think? Um, do you want a separate part that you can do one in, you know, you can paint one and then add another just black. I don't know. I'm trying to figure out how you guys would want to detail this. How many of you don't want to actually do any detail work? You just want to print it in a few colors and put it all together versus if you guys actually want some, um, something to work with. We actually, we need to make sure that this thing, that we can retain it also. Now we don't have a lot of thickness for screws or threads. Hmm. I need to put my phone on do not disturb. Sorry, where's that? There it is. Okay, we got to figure out how we're going to actually keep this thing in there. Oh, no, no, and I wasn't talking about the door on the back. We're definitely going to do that. I'm talking on the actual, on this piece, that that thing there. Like, I was thinking behind that, you know, because like the, normally you have like the gas pump in, pump dials and all of that. And then whatever that, what is the black circle that's at the top portion of it? I can't say I've ever used one of these gas pumps, so. Um I don't know. We'll figure it out. I need to, how are we going to keep this in there? It shows gas flow, like gallons per minute or what? 
or would it, did that tell you how many gallons was you had pumped and the other one was just the price? Huh. There's a spin. Oh man, those are, that's kind of cool. I had no idea. All right, I'm gonna come up with uh, how this is retained. I haven't, I'll figure that out. We'll get back to it. Let's move on to, uh, we need the, the globe at the top as they called it. So let's do, let's actually create a construction plane based on the top surface. And we need to drag that up. Let's drag it up 32 millimeters. And then we're going to create a something like a 10 millimeter. Yeah. I'm going to project that rectangle so that I can select the midpoints of it to make sure that I properly center the globe. I'm going to click the midpoint constraint. We're going to select the circle and then that construction line to move it where it needs to be. Hit Q. That doesn't want to let me select it. So we're going to turn off the main body and drag that up, drag it up. And then it actually creates a cut. Now I can tell that that is way deeper than it needs to be. So we're going to edit that feature and we're taking it from 32 to 35. Maybe eh, 35 looks like enough. Yeah, that'd be plenty. So that'll be that portion. Now we're going to do an offset. I'm going to select that. Normally I do a half a millimeter for tolerance, but this one, I feel like we want it to be a little bit tighter because maybe you can just use a tiny amount of glue. We're not going to use any hardware for this part. So we're going to do um, 0.25. So with three, oh, it went the opposite way. We're going to do negative 0.25. Um, 3D printing has a tendency to kind of, it's got its own tolerances. So that's usually tight enough where it's not too, if you try and make things the exact same size, it's just like, they just don't work that well together with most printers. Some printers are very, very accurate and that's not something you have to worry about, but there's no reason to have to worry about it. I'm a child. I'm a child. I'm a child. Let's go up. I mean, you can bring it up to here. We're going to cover it anyway. So I'm not, I'm just going to go up. Uh, yeah, that's fine. So it's not going to be a join. It's going to be a new body. Hit OK. Do I have a cure for elephant's foot? Uh, I mean, that's kind of just in your print settings. Usually I, I try and design things to hopefully not have too many issues with that, you know, especially when it's just on that first layer, if you get a little bit, if I need, if it's an issue for me, I'll just sand it or trim it. But um, I don't really get a, an over exaggerated amount of it. I've always been able to, to keep it in check. So now we're going to start another new sketch and we need to do it on the midpoint, which is the same as plane one in this case. So, we already know that this is 33 millimeters from the math that we did at the outset. Let's see how that looks versus our canvas. Pretty damn close. I'm okay with that. So I think we did. You, you done good, kid. Line. That make it vertical and lastly throw a dimension on it 14.5 is fine so we are going to do a symmetric do a total this is going to be a not a cut but a join Uh, 
12, yeah. Like that. Now, okay, these things normally, here's, a, here's another thing. If you guys are gonna add detail to these, then having it be domed like the light up globed faces normally would be a little difficult. So, hmm, should we make this so that you guys, we could make this for an LED on the inside and then I could just make this hollow and you guys could put your own painted Lexan or whatever on it. Maybe I could, uh, and then also put up a solid version in case you guys don't want it um, or don't want to go through that hassle. Should we be, should we be fancy like that? Why not? We've seen Dana Surrett put a laser on one of these print files. So I know that somebody is capable of going the distance. We're gonna cut all the way through. Um, so we're gonna do that. I'm going to turn off those other bodies for now. We're gonna do a, we're gonna do a, let's see. We're gonna do a five millimeter bore all the way through it. Cause five millimeter, five millimeter LEDs are the most common, but we also need to do a uh, seven millimeter cut most of the way through so that the LED can get up into where it needs to. I think seven millimeters overdoing it. I think it probably only needs to be six, but it's fine. Um, are you going to put an inset on the hollow part? I don't know what you mean, sorry. Um, granted, that's only one LED from the bottom. I think it'll be all right though. I mean, I know it's not in the center or any of that, but I think this will be, it'll be okay. Um, so we're gonna do that. And now we need to give you guys some area to actually put those, like those faces. So we need to add a lip of some sort. Is this what you meant by an inset or an insert? Um, let's do 1.25. Now, that's, is that too much? Is that not enough or too? I know what, yes, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna do it like that. We're going to mirror that feature, not the body, but the feature. We're going to select that last. And we're going to mirror that off of plane one. Um, so that if you put something on the inside, it has an outer edge dressed. Okay. Yeah. So I think this is what you guys were talking about. Something like this. Now, additionally, I'm going to draw a circle. Actually, we're going to do a negative 0.5 and then project to, no. that we're going to make this ring 1.5 millimeters q uh, negative two actually we're going to yeah that's fine negative two new body okay let's throw some duplicate that color edit let's do um, a, a blue of some sort done. We're going to throw that blue onto that for now. I'm going to project that circle and the outer circle Q that we're going to do one millimeter 
new body for now. Oops, I missed edit. There we go, new body. Then I'm going to join those two. So what that will do is this piece here, we're gonna turn, let's turn everything back on to show you guys what we got going on. We're gonna take, actually, I'm gonna modify that just a little bit, but basically what that's gonna do is that's gonna give you, um, we're gonna take some, some distance off of this lip, but you're gonna be able to add your Lexan with a decal or whatever, whatever you have, and then you're just gonna be able to kind of push this ring in to help retain it. And it should it should do just fine. Now, what I was saying is I'm going to edit this one. We went negative two, we're gonna go negative one is all. That'll give you a one millimeter, one millimeter distance in there. So depending on the thickness of whatever Lexan you use, it might pull this face a little bit out but you could sand it if you wanted. So, and we're going to mirror that body to both sides. So now you've got an LED on the inside. We do need to put a hole through the top here still, um, but we can do that. So we're gonna do, remove those. We're gonna put a hole through here. And we'll just do uh, do eight. It's a 10 millimeter cavity normally, so it should give you plenty of. It'll give you room to pass through your wires and all that. Now, you'll be able to keep a battery in here, keep whatever you want. With these gas pumps didn't actually have any lights in them themselves, did they? I don't think, maybe like they kind of had like some bleed light from the top or something, was that it? Um, let's see, and then if someone wants the entire side printed, they can just seal up the opening on the ring pieces. Uh, yeah, and I actually can, uh, what I'll do is, you know what, I should just do that now. I'm gonna modify one of these. I'll modify the one on the back for now. And we're just gonna do a, I guess just hit project, whatever. Do that, hit Q. And we're gonna do that to the back. So then they've got a solid one. And then if you want to put a solid on both sides, you don't wanna add any detail, or you want to put a sticker on the outside, you can just print that one on both sides. Makes it easy for whoever wants to do that. You really think any of us are that old to know? Mike J, you'd have been the first one I asked. I don't even know if you're old. I just assume by you having a hard time hearing the audio all the time. <laughs> Got audio jokes back at Mike J. Ah, it's hard to do. All right, they light up the area uh, where it says fire chief. Oh, really? Hmm. Um, can you make domed inserts in case we do have clear filament? I sure could. Let's, uh, why not? Let's grab one of these. I'm gonna create click make a copy and then I'm just going to drag this over for now so I have another one do that now I need to create a construction plane on that face let's see how do I want to do that actually that's not how I want to do that I want it at the mid plane of that. And I don't really know where that is in space because I moved that over just a random number. What is that? What did I do? It doesn't say. So we're going to inspect from the center to center. I moved it 48 millimeters. Isn't that an interesting number? 
So we're going to zoom out and select that. I'm going to drag that over 48. Then we're going to do a sketch on that plane. I'm going to do an arc, I think. We're going to project to that to give us the midpoint. Okay. There, there. I'm going to do one more construction line. Straight vertical. So that I can make sure we are tangent. Do 1.5 millimeters of a dome. Is that enough? Nah, it needs a little bit more, doesn't it? Two millimeters? Yeah, sure. All right, so we've created that. We are going to finish the sketch. We're going to do a revolve. With that, the axis is going to be in the center. And that gives us a dome. Now, if you're going to do that, we'll put a small radius on the edge to help you kind of have more. Is that enough of a, I want more dome than that. Let's go, we'll go three. We'll just be a little bit exaggerated. That's still not even that exaggerated. That'll look good though. Three millimeter dome. Let's see. Our, Matt sent RCPC updates coming this week. I should get to work on it because I've been filming all day, all day yesterday, all day today. Oof. So there, you have three different versions of the cap, solid, the ring in case you want to do some Lexan detail or a domed version in case you have clear filament or in case you just want domed on each side, whatever, lots of options. Made for a five millimeter LED in the bottom. Okay, um, let's see. I'm gonna hit the appearance menu. We're gonna duplicate that again. Ed, oops. Edit, and I do believe I can do, actually cancel, delete that. There's a glass library, um, smooth, clear. Is there a frosted? Uh, it does not appear so. We're gonna just drag that onto there for now. There, now you can see that one is supposed to look like glass, whatever. All right, we have that. That gives us all this. So I haven't figured out a way to attach this yet, but we still need the gas pump portion of the gas pump, right? So the hose portion, I think we're going to make a make it so that you just use like, I'd use some 12 gauge wire or something like that. Now this part, I'm going to do a, I'm going to do a box section here on the side and I'm going to do that so that we can kind of print an insert that is, uh, that allows you to, okay. These gas pumps were pretty, pretty high up on the, on the side there. Basically, where the, where that circle is. Okay. So we're going to move this up to this area. There's that.
Okay. Make that three millimeters down. We're gonna put make this. Uh, uh, let me look at that side piece or this again. Oh, and the actual attachment is down right below where the fire chief portion is. So we're going to do like 35. That'll be all right. and we're going to cut in by three. Yes. So I've got that now just for the sake of it, I am going to put radius around this, make it look a little, a little cleaner when it's done, but now it's going to be based on this. So the only reason I did this is so that this section here can be removed and printed maybe flat so that some of the details that we have won't require the use of uh, supports going up or anything like that. It'll be just much easier. And I think in the end, you'll end up with a cleaner looking print. So we need the gas nozzle, gas nozzle holder. Now, I do realize that I just uh, put this on the other side than what my reference image shows. Is that true? Because is my reference image mirrored? Oh, it is mirrored. <laughs> I, I didn't notice that it was mirrored in this, since it's probably supposed to go this way. Um, I keep looking up at the image that I have. <laughs> it's, huh, weird. Oh, well, it's, it's fine. It's fine. Don't worry. Uh, point five. So this is going to come out three new body. It goes, it goes on the right. Does it have to go on the right? You're probably right. It probably does need to. Pop it. I... Hmm. Does it need to go on the right? Because I'm going to put it over there if it has to be. I could really, I could cheat and get it over there pretty easy. Hmm. Need both for double islands. Did that, was that a thing? Not on these old ones, right? Mirror it to the other side. I know, I just, has to be, okay. Has to, for some reason I'm, I'm believing that that's the case. Now, rather than I'm going to let's see. we're gonna mirror that body over. Actually, I think if I delete that, that goes. Yeah, it's, it deletes them both. That's okay. Um, I'm just going to do a cut on this side. I'm gonna hit project to grab it though. and then go negative three. So it cut it. It's just easier that way than, I've got some useless steps in the model, but that way I didn't have to redo all that dimensioning and things like that, so. Okay. So now back to actual progress, we need the gas pump handle cavity. 
this this is going to be the part that's going to be a little little funky for me uh two three we're going to make it five wide Uh, trying to decide. I have about the right height. I eh, probably even need a little bit more. Um, and then this one needs to go down more. That's eh, probably pretty close. Okay. And all right, actually. Actually, we are darn close to so just moved it up based on that two millimeter inwards. Now, one thing we could do here is, yeah, we're going to. Oop. We're going to do a cut here towards the top. That, you know, five millimeter open. We're going to just pull that inwards four millimeters more. Now that cuts all the way through the one piece and partially into the other body, which I am okay with. Um, I'm going to do two distance. This distance we're going to pull down significantly more. So now we need to add the handle where or the area where the handle is going to rest more. Um, does anyone else remember at the beginning when he said this would be a simple one and we'd have time for something else? Travis, you should know better. You should know better. I'm going to just cut that up a few more millimeters so that I can I'm doing, uh, I added a little bit more of a cut there. This way it gives me a spot where you can actually insert the, insert the tip. I'm delirious. It's okay. Uh, I don't think Josh's easy is the same as our easy. <laughs> and then it just ends up taking so much longer. I know. So let's now put, we need uh, to add the, some detail for where the handle is going to come out and rest. Or something like that. Does that seem unreasonable? Okay. Oh, we need the height two as well. Yeah, sure. Oops. Just the tip. What did I miss? <laughs> Good time to join. And now I know that normal, well, I don't know if these gas pumps were the same way. I don't know. Remember how, I don't know how they clicked in or were held in place. So that's, uh, you know, I don't know that ours is going to have the, the proper style for that, but Oh, 
at least try and make it try and make it have something. Now the other thing we need to do is we're going to add six five. that I'm going to bring this out yeah like that throw a couple of fillets on that component and then we're going to put a hole put a hole in the bottom. Three millimeter hole. Hopefully you guys can three millimeter hose of some sort. Or should I increase that? What if we go 3.5? I'm going to go back and modify that housing a little bit. That'll give you an eighth inch. So we'll go five. Yeah, five will be okay. Six there. That's okay. It's a little bit better anyway. Oop, need to adjust the center location. I guess I never. So make sure that's on the center. So I know it's not at centered in the actual part or centered, you know, forward and backward, but just trying to keep it a little bit closer to keep some material around the top when it actually goes to print. So this is the first time I've seen you use a canvas as something to draw from. Very cool. Yeah, yeah. I think it's a, it's a powerful tool. You know, it's not something you always use, but for something like this, when you're using it as a reference, it's perfect. Um, random Aussie questions of the day. What to go with playing before you fill up at the Bowser? What is it? I don't know what any of that means. What were those words? Did I read them wrong? Whoops. That's weird. How did it click that many? All right. Adds. Whoa, what is that? I do not know how that happened. Click there. And there. It airs out on that side, that side only. These should be identical, but they act completely different. Try to add that radius there and see if that helps. It does. Okay. Okay, we need the uh, pump handle still. It's a little bit more difficult with how small we're gonna have to kind of make it a little, a little less detailed, a little more square. But after that, we need to add the door. We need to add a way to retain that. And then that's basically it for this one. Hey, we're only an hour and 10 minutes in. This is a pretty good project for an hour and 10 minutes. I am not, I am not disappointed with our progress. So let's, uh, 
going to create a plane. We're going to do, what did I say that was? 2.5. So create a construction plane on the midpoint of our opening. And now let's, I'm going to hit project and I'm going to grab a couple of these surfaces so that I can see them. Kind of shows us just kind of shows us where everything's at. Okay. Uh, how do you guess how much fuel you need? Okay. So let's, let's do a, I know what we're going to do. We're going to do this with the tube function. That seems unnecessary. Ah, it'll be fine. Why not? So from here, go down. We're just going to do that. I'm going to drag that out a little more. Drag that up. Put some. Fill it in it. Like that. Okay. Now I'm going to do pipe. Select that. Now we doing round itself is just a little bit too hard for most printers. So I'm going to do square. We're going to add a little bit of detail to it, but I'm trying to make this just a little bit easier for most printers. Um, let's go 2.5 and it's showing that it's colliding somewhere, which I think that it must just barely be touching somewhere. Where's it at? Oh, right there. That's the only spot. What happens if we go to three again? Three. So it's showing that it's colliding decently there and a little bit up there. Okay, we're going to stay at 2.5. But we're going to do new body. That's, that's actually just, oh, I'm, I know what I'm doing wrong. I was like, this looks totally wrong. And that's because it is, this is not the portion of the pump that normally this section would be out here. A little bit more down. It's just. We'll have to add, add handle and things like that around it. But so, like I said, we're going to start with the, the square section and then we're just going to do a little bit of fill it on these like, so. And now okay, about like that. Okay. Back to sketching. Go from here. We are going to How do I want to fake this? It would just be like, we could draw this accurately to make it kind of work, look like a real pump. It, just, it doesn't end up being very printable and you know, it's not, it's not going to be reliable. So that's, that's why I'm trying to, you know, Lego this thing up a little bit, make it look a little bit more 
make it be a little bit more function over exact detail. That's kind of the that's kind of the thing that you constantly fight with 3D printing scale accessories is just how much how much can you put in, you know, if we were dealing with resin printers, that would be a whole different thing. You can go crazy detailed with those things and they'll print just fine. They'll be very fragile, but um, they'll, you know, they'll still print fine. So still obviously lots of interference here, but we'll work through this. New body because we're going to combine these two. That's fine. Um, and let's just do a how's the tree? We're going to add just a bit of a. Oh, I'm dropping some frames. Six, uh, negative 1.2. We have to do this based on the extruder width. Buffetine, buffetine. Still going, it'll catch up. Guess we could just turn off that and do it. Join. Ah, stupid thing. So a little bit of detail of where the handle will be. Again, this is not the pretty part, but and we'll do uh, 0.8. It doesn't want to do it at all. Try that again. Ah, it's on that side that it does not want to allow me to chamfer at all. Oh, it's because it's the corner, but that's okay. Hey, thanks, Gene Master. Appreciate it, sir. Gene Mass says, you're going to wish you mate a happy birthday. You're going to wish you mate a happy beat it. It's not my birthday yet, but uh, hey, appreciate it anyway. Or is it you have somebody I need to wish happy birthday? Is it your birthday? How many jelly beans? It's his B-Day. Happy birthday, Gene Master. How old is Gene Master? <laughs> Let's see. Um, I, 
I'm just still looking at how to retain this thing. Jeez, Josh, pay your Canadian. My internet's fixed now. It's uh, 47. You're 10 years older than me, Gene. Not bad. You've you've made it you've made it further than me. Isn't that how this game goes? Isn't that how you win? I don't really know. I feel like a winner every day. I'm just cutting the top off of this for now. Oh, it looks like a bunch of you guys got booted because it, yeah, it just, it shot my view. It just went big drop in it, but booted again. Yes, I am 37 years old. Born in 1983. Okay, uh, t -t 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 <laughs> God, Josh could be my kid. <laughs> Let's see. T -t 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 it appears, I mean, my, I haven't dropped, I'm not dropping any more uh, frames yet, or frames now, so uh, hopefully everything is... Yeah, it definitely kicked a lot of people, though. The number just went, bam, way down. Um, we're going to do, I'm going to kind of, I'm going to cheat this thing a bit. Uh, I'm going to hit project on couple of these surfaces. And I'm going to do that. I'm going to call it two millimeters that way. Q. We're going to do a two sided job here. One is going to go up, one is going to go down to, both are going to be a join like that. We're going to see if we can fake this thing out a little bit. So I'm just creating a kind of a secondary notch. And then I'm going to do that. I'm going to then turn that off. I'm just making uh, 0.5 like that. So it just has like a kind of a, a little extra area that it goes down into. Not ideal, but it'll be all right. Now the other thing is that we have to have, we have to attach the hose to this. I made it for an eighth inch on the other side. I guess what I would I would tell you to do is use heat shrink because that is what is that? Why is it not giving me the distance? Two point five millimeter. Yeah, 
I would tell you to use some heat shrink um, to, to attach the two. Hopefully that's enough because I don't want to add like a big area on it. So I want to keep it nice and flat. So that's what I'm going to suggest. Okay, so that gives you everything for that. And we're in pretty good shape, I think. I'm going to turn that off for a moment because it's distracting me. What else do we need? We need the door on the back, correct? Let's add that. We're going to do another construction plane off of that. We're just going to go negative two. And from there, we'll do uh, I'm going to do we're just going to do it. Uh, edit. Undo, actually, we're going to put a few holes in the corners. We're just going to attach it at the corners. We're going to make all of these equal at eight millimeters. Equal. There. And then we're going to put circles on the inside at 2.6 for threaded holes. And we're going to make a construction rectangle that connects center to center so that we can adjust and dimension everything together. moment. All right, we're going to do dimension that at that's too far. 2.5 is far enough. Two point five all around these are just going to become bosses for us turn that back on hit Q and select those four regions not that we're gonna go in let's go in six millimeters Mind that. And of course, as always, we need to do some fillets everywhere. So that'll give us those areas. Now we need And project the outside so I can offset 0.5 and 3.5. Er, I might I'm gonna have to go back and give myself a little bit more offset because I'm getting too close to the doesn't want to. It's too close to the edge of the door, is what I'm saying. Let's 
So how can we let's see it was that one I think. Nope. Oh, that's why. Edit these. Oh. So this, we need to go to like four. We're going to have to redo the, uh, those fillets because those are not going to work. Let's do we can do this a different way. I'm going to do two rectangles. This will look odd for a second, but we're just going to use a bunch of tangent constraints. So and it looks like only one area didn't want to work for us, but it's okay. Oops. So that put that there and you can see those fillets blew up, but we could actually just delete those. We don't even need them. All right. Man, it kicked a, once it kicked a bunch of people out, it definitely did not like to recover after that, but it is okay. Go back, edit this sketch here. All right, I'm going to two millimeter door, new body. Okay, so you go, you'll have four screws on the back to create the door panel. Now, I'm going to put an HD at the bottom in that area. It's kind of in the middle of it, but it's okay. That is definitely too big. That's a acceptable. Something like that. Two squares. You can tell how close I'm getting to the monitor that things are very serious. Good enough. And do a negative point four so this should give you yeah I think that does it right um high test diesel <laughs> I don't think that came out too bad oh you know what we didn't do this whole time is save gas pump Oof. Good thing that nothing crashed. That would have sucked. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, no, I'm pretty, I'm pretty okay with this. I think this uh, this turned out quite acceptable. Let's do one cross section analysis on this just through the
yeah, I think that'll work. There's some interference there, but that's kind of how I expected. You'll have to kind of, it'll wedge in a little bit. You have the channel for the wiring for an LED up top, if you so choose. I think that will be all right. Oh, one thing I didn't do is um, we did not do anything to retain this. I'm going to do that afterwards let's do let's do another one of those uh let's do some speed some speed rounds real quick cable for the hose uh that i'll just i would either suggest you use some like 12 gauge wire like motor wire from you know a rc motor and then just use some heat shrink to attach it to the pump that way it's like a flexible hose it looks appropriate um i don't think that you would ever be able to beat that with 3d printing so I would, I would suggest that. Um, so this is, this is the way that I'm going to suggest it. Like I said, I'm going to do the final detail with getting that in place, but let's do, um, some ridiculous it's seven thirty six. We have time for, we'll say two 10 minute speed rounds. So give me, uh, you guys, rattle off some suggestions, things that we think could be done in 10 minutes. So don't say the body of a Jeep or something ridiculous. Give me, give me something, something stupid, like actual, actual bad ideas of scale items. Um, they do oil cans. He hates these. Are you, what movie was that from, by the way, Moose Jaw? Because you kept saying a cat, a cat carrier. <laughs> a bench grinder. Did we do a bench grinder? I don't think we did. Dartboard. That'd be pretty hard to print. Milk crate. Baseball bat. That'd be, um, a wall hung payphone. Oh, that's a good idea. That would be a good idea for an act. Could I do oh, wall hung payphone actually seems like a really good idea, man. I don't know if I could, that's, um, let me, I'm Googling something. Payphone. I mean, there's not much to those things, are there? They're just basic rectangles. Oh. I think it'd be fun one night we should actually do like an actual, like the whole phone thing. Cause otherwise it might be, that's actually maybe a little too easy. Um, oh, it's from the jerk. Okay. <laughs> um, windshield bucket and squeegee. Oh, that. Yeah. The, what is what is, is it called a windshield bucket? Um, windshield cleaning bucket. What is that? Um, we need the one that is on the one that's at the gas station on the, the ground mounted one, right? That's the better one. Um, come on, dang it. Why can I not find a good most or a five gallon, but we, I don't think not here. <laughs> um, windshield wash station. Let's see what that comes up with. So I was thinking like that thing, but again, that those are kind of
Oh yeah, I was picturing it with the the trash can and the the station, I guess. Hmm. There are a, what is a TARDIS? What are you guys talking? About? Um. <laughs> I've been needing scale gas. That been on E for a while. Eric, you putting in fifteen cents worth of gas at a time? Okay, I'm going to read a few more suggestions before I choose one. Um, <laughs> folding to articulation ramp. It's called, it's called an orange Home Depot bucket. I don't know where you got We got, I got to know, maybe nicer. TARDIS is Doctor Who. Yeah, I don't know who Doctor, I've never seen Doctor Who. <laughs> Sorry. Um, unicorn horn ornament. <laughs> um, uh, oh, sorry. Boom box, jukebox. Oh, that, that's kind of, that would be kind of fun. Small gas pump island. Um, a dog house. Huh. Okay. I am going with. What about a basic workbench? That, that would be an easy one. I, I think that one, again, that one might be a little too easy. Um, okay, we're going to do a couple. We're going to do... First, let's do the... First, let's do the... Uh, the bench grinder. Someone said that. I don't think we've ever done a bench grinder, and I'm not sure how. So first, we're going to do that. I'm going to put a timer on my phone. Oh, didn't I do one on here before? Um, 10 minute timer. Oh, stop, reset. How did I, hold on one second while I, yeah, it was that. Okay, hold on. Hold, where's it at? I don't know why it's not. Oh, that was why. Eh. Okay, hold please. I'm fixing it because we're going to use this two times. So I'm going to turn that timer back on. Transform. Actually, never mind. We're not going to do we're not going to deal with that. I'm just going to have it going on my own. 10 minute timer. Bench grinder it is starting. And when, once uh, once we get done with this one, oh, I've got the noise turned on, so you guys will actually hear it as well. And a coffee pot. You are, that's not even funny. All right, bench grinder first. Going. Timer's timer's going. Random base. Let's go. Uh, I don't. Yeah, that's fine. So starting with some sort of base like that. Symmetric tone doesn't really matter. That. Oops. I'm going to do a 2.6 millimeter hole all the way through it. 
So because these things will be separate for some reason, even though this is a speed round. Let's do that needs to be a smaller circle, doesn't it? So we're going to do a I guess if I just do that and do these as separate body. That was just gonna get moved out by 0.5. Seven minutes, 40 seconds left, FYI. Do a cut. Turn all the bodies back on. Like that, and then I'm going to. I don't know why that is constrained already, but it is. Doing this because we're going to do some New bodies. I know I completely covered up that other one, but it was the plan. Trust the plan. And it's only going to cut. So I was just making shrouds like that. That and then another one about like that. Why did Oh, come on, why is this not? Ever at four minutes, 39 seconds left. Oh, I think I edit feature. Wasn't that one. I screwed up and combined these bodies at some point. That was supposed to be a new body. Okay, there we go. So Going to 
combine those. And then I'm going to mirror all those bodies. I'm going to combine. Oh, it already did. Okay, that's fine. So, yeah, shrouds. I'm just going to do a big leveling cut. Three minutes, 20 seconds left. Gonna just add a little bit of some shaping there. Now, the only thing is, is that I need a way to attach this. Uh, 3.5, it's okay. And do a cut. Going to add some need to adjust that just a little bit. Where are we at? Two minutes left. Seven Q. One. Cut. There we go. And we're going to put a two point six Q. There we go. Uh, we have 53 seconds left. It looks something that resembles a bench grinder. Not a lot like it, and there's definitely not much detail, but it looks, it, it represents it in some sort of fashion. Are the bearings, uh, you just don't tighten the screws all the way. How about that? Um, let's put, some flathead screws on it instead 1.7 mil there you go um more like a hoverboard yeah sure i'll give you that one <laughs> 12 seconds it's good enough there's, there's a nine minute and 45 second forgot the power switch <laughs> true story one second there it is done that was all you get for a 10 minute bench grinder, but technically <laughs> good enough for jazz. <laughs> all right, then that's a uh, simple, but terrible bench grinder. They don't spin. They, they should, they should be close because they are, well, technically they didn't, they weren't properly sized. I should have 3.5. They still would have worked, but you know, this will be better. Why is it not dropping down? There we go. Do not cut body. There. 
Now they would properly spin better. Coffee pot versus that thing. <laughs> this is better than the coffee pot. The coffee pot was terrible. <laughs> Could you use bearings for the actual grinding wheels? Now that is a good idea. <laughs> um, so. And we're going to just duplicate and edit. Done. I'll drop those on there. I'll still upload this to Thingiverse, even though it's not that great. One side needs to be a wire wheel. See, I'm used to a coarse one and a fine one rather than the wire wheel. The wire wheel is the ones that always ends up like with those little wires coming at you. Awful. Okay, we're going to do one more speed round. And let's do... I'm scrolling up. And we are going to choose... What is an oil can rack? What? Um, a lamp for the gas island. Oh, that's a good... I see a couple of people who said lamp post and a lamp for the gas island. Okay. Let's, let's do... Let's do something like that. Um, I'm going to pull up a... Uh, vintage lamp post. These are much more ornate than I was hoping for. Let's vintage gas station. We're just going to see what kind of uh, lamp posts they had at old gas stations. And what do we see? What do we see? These people not have gas. Oh, one like that. That's, that's not terrible. Shit, some of them had it on top even. Wow, it's really hard to find any of them that had actual lamp posts next to them that weren't super tall. Hmm, difficult. And let's just make a decision and go with it because I can't find anything else. Evidently, they just weren't a thing, and we all remember it. So I'm going to look at this one. And this is not a very high-resolution photo, but that's what we're going with. That one there. Okay. So I'm going to reset my timer. Oops. Reset. New image. We're going to hit... Oh, let me scroll down. Okay. And starting. So base, we're going to do polygon. We're going to just make it at the base. Oops. Gonna make it uh, 30 at the base, that's fine. Q, do that. We're gonna drag that up 100, four inches. Yeah, 125. And then we are going to do a taper angle on this of say like six degrees. Negative six degrees, I mean, oh, too much. Uh, three degrees? Sure. Something like that. We're going to select that again. Do an offset. 2.5 millimeters. Do that up. Two point, mm, more than that. Four. Like that. Now let's do. Uh, I'm not going to screw with that. 
Now let's do this as like, um, if I do this as 13 millimeter, that would be half inch. If you went and found like half inch brass tubing, you could make this a thing of whatever height you wanted then, right? So I'm going to make this as a new body for now. Even in this scenario, I can't help but overcomplicate. And let's do five. This to here, we'll do three. Negative six, that's a quarter inch. I'm going to click that. Why is it? I wanted to just, uh, won't let me just cut that surface. Oh, well. Two, new body. And I'm going to just join those two. Now let's do a front plane sketch and we're going to do arc three point. Actually, let's just do no arc six minutes, 43 seconds left. that line some tangents yeah that'll work now offset on toggle construction we'll go four again symmetric do two because it's both sides. Join. Actually, we're going to undo that. That needs to be a new body. And we need the lid of this. So we're going to do that. Actually, let's do that as the front again. And we're gonna just do out a bit. up, create a circle, like that, and like Uh, and oops. Actually, we're just going to do, I'm going to do a tilted setup. Okay, finish that sketch and then do a revolve, grab a bunch of these profiles, select the axis. Like that, we're gonna do this as, we're gonna leave it new body for now. So we don't join everything and then we'll just smooth, oops. Smooth it up with some fillets.
that. That on the inside, that'll be fine. And we're going to, we got three minutes left. Mirror that body, that plane. Okay. And we're going to just do a five point five millimeter hole. because of reasons that'll put a hole in the cap at least Nah. oh i should have done edit and drag that all the way through at least that'll give you a, a place to put uh wires and such except it didn't and lastly let's put a little bit more of a base around the bottom Yeah. To minute 20. So, there. Lamp post. That is what you get let me lamp post gas pump i'm going to insert derive and we're going to put it next to it, you guys can there you go projects for the night you know, it's not not that far off, anyway <laughs> that is basically what we've got for the night, we've got our oh, I see someone oh, I forgot that that was still going <laughs> Not too shit. Yeah, thanks. Um, so for the night, we did our vintage style gas pump with the separate dial face that you'll then can put whatever you like behind it if you wish. Gives you a little bit of a gap for some Lexan so you can have a nice glass like front to your vintage gas station. We've got the globe above it, three different versions for the globe face. You use this one here in case you want to sandwich a piece of Lexan in with a decal or some paint or something on the back to give you a, a look. It's got a hole for a five millimeter, five millimeter LED to come through the housing. Or we have the solid version that you can print and then put a decal on the front or no decal at all. Lastly, I did also create a domed version that you can print if you want the domed look. Um, you can print it in a transparent if you still want to light it up, anything like that. What is that? Oh, that's the, uh, the door. So the door to the back allow you access inside. There's a routing channel for the wires to go up to the LED if you choose to use those. And everything else is just uh, access for the interior panels. The only thing I'm going to do before I get these uploaded is come up with a way for the, uh, that internal panel to stay retained don't have my end idea for that yet, but 
Um, I'll get it figured out and we'll get that input while or before I get everything uploaded. You'll see all these files uploaded tonight. What infill on these? Um, I usually print, I mean, most of my stuff is 20% infill. I think with this type of non-functional stuff, you could probably get away at 10%, but 20% is kind of my standard. So there you go. Vintage style gas pumps. All the infills, 100% infill. But good stuff tonight. Thanks for everybody for hanging out. Hope you had a good time. Appreciate all of you uh, jumping in. Why not 20,000%? Just, it's pressurized then. Pressurized infill. Way more infill than you could possibly need. Can you put an LED in the post? Uh, yes, there is a five millimeter hole in there as well. This is designed for a 13 millimeter or a half inch diameter tube. So find whatever half inch tube you like, or I'll, I'll put up this one as well. Um, but then you can, uh, you, if you find some half inch tubing, you can make it whatever length you want. You don't have to print it. Um, giving you the ability to have shorty lamp posts or more tall, whatever you want. So yeah. The only thing I didn't do is I didn't leave any way to get the wires out of here. I should probably put like a channel in or something like that, but you know, things for your scale garage. So what we've done tonight. That was fun. Good times. Thanks everybody. We'll see you shortly with a lot of videos. It's going to be a very busy week and an exciting week. So, um, yeah, Dremel a slot. That's always an option, right? going to be a lot. There's going to be a lot going on this week. So we'll see you guys throughout it. Several HD on the lamppost. Oh, I should do that. We'll get her done. I'll get that stuff done while I get it uploaded. So thanks everybody for watching. Hit the like button before you leave and have a good start to your week. Later.